Hi, I'm Stephen and welcome to today's video about all of the bad things that can happen if you pressure wash your diesel particulate filter. First, a few questions. Question number one, will the filter be clean as a result of the pressure washing? And the answer is yes, it will. In 30 minutes, your filter will be as clean as new. Question number two, is pressure washing a good idea? And the answer is definitely not. You will see later in this video that pressure washing can completely destroy your filter. If you want to clean your filter without a high risk of damage, then chemical cleaning is the way to do it. I'll put a link up the top to my video about chemical cleaning, if you want to stay safe. Question number three, what if I want to do it anyway? Well, that is entirely up to you. I'm never going to be the one to tell you that you can't live dangerously. If you find another used filter for your car for $50 on eBay, for example, then maybe the risk is okay. If, however, you need to clean out the filter on a BMW 750D and the replacement filter has a cost of over $2,000, then maybe the risk isn't worth it. But it's up to you. Enough questions, let's get on with it. For a previous video, I've cut open an old filter and then cut it into pieces. I've secured a piece here ready for pressure washing and I've cut away a section to reveal the channels. I've done this to see how thick the blocked off section of each channel is. And you can see here that it measures 2.6 millimeters or one tenth of an inch. So there really isn't much damage that can be sustained to the ceramic material before it is completely ruined. Let's start washing. This pressure washer has a rating of 140 bar or 2000 PSI and I'm not getting that close. After a few minutes of washing, we can see that there is absolutely no damage being done to the silicon carbide ceramic material, and it is getting very well cleaned. That's great, isn't it? Let's get even closer. Oops, that is not good. So we have pressure washing issue number one. Issue number one. The silicon carbide material seems very resistant to damage but the white ceramic glue holding the filter modules together isn't so damage resistant. To avoid damage, consider using a smaller pressure washer with a lower pressure rating, and be sure to keep it far enough away that you don't break apart the modules. And definitely don't deliberately point it at the joins where the white ceramic glue is. This of course can be very difficult if your filter is inside a metal case. The next part of your filter that can be damaged is the fiberglass insulation that is squeezed between the ceramic material and the steel or stainless steel case. It is light and fluffy yet extremely heat and pressure resistant, but 2000 psi of water pressure might be more than what it is designed for. Okay, let's give it a blast. And the result is that some of the glass fibers have been pushed back. So that is pressure washing issue number two. Issue number two. To avoid damage to the fiberglass insulation, avoid pointing the pressure washer at the edges of the ceramic material where it is closest to the case. And now for pressure washing issue number three. Issue number three. And this has to do with filters that have an integrated diesel oxidation catalyst, a DOC, before the DPF ceramic material. These newer EU5 rated filters were introduced from approximately 2010-2011, and it is not a good idea to point a high pressure washer at the diesel oxidation catalyst material. If you do, then you can strip off the platinum or palladium that makes the DOC function. 
so you risk having the filter permanently impaired, as well as washing some very expensive precious metal down the drain. If you still want to pressure wash one of these newer filters, then only spray the water in from the exhaust side of the filter, so that the pressure is quite low by the time it reaches the DOC. Thanks for joining me on my DPF cleaning adventures. Until next time.